Warning, the video you are about to consume is not meant to be taken seriously. It is satire. The MedSped's actual political views are not represented in any way, shape, or form in the following video. I thought this was obvious, but I've learned through viewer feedback it's obviously not. Feel free to downvote and criticize away, but just do so knowing I am not seriously a feminist or SJW. Enjoy! Well, hello there, YouTube. It's been a while. It's me, the MedsPeds, and I'm here to talk about something that I've never talked about before, and that's feminism. Well, I mean, we're going to be a little bit more specific than that. We're going to talk about sluts. We're going to talk about good sluts. We're going to talk about bad sluts. So, title thing. Go. Oppressing you! Is it okay to have promiscuous sex, especially with men? I don't know. Do we have agency over our bodies and control over our own pleasure? Or are we just slaves to men's sex drives, especially white cis -het men, which are, you know, the worst? I don't know. It's, it's such a complicated question. But I'm an extremely intelligent person, so I'm here to inform you, like, how you should view it, the correct way to view it, and how to handle it. So that's what this is here. I'm going to talk about good ways to be a slut and bad ways to be a slut. A good way to be a slut is to post scantily clad pictures online. You'll get bonus points if you fish for compliments. See, you're not an attention whore that's just looking for validation to make yourself feel better about your sad, pathetic life. No, 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 no. You're an empowered woman and you're celebrating your body. So that's a good slut. Post those pictures, get those likes. Each click is validation. I mean, empowerment. Each, each click is empowerment. Good slut, but a bad slut. Ooh. A bad slut is a woman in a video game. Bonus points if it's created by a man. She's out there in her bikini, beating people up and stuff. No body armor. That doesn't make any sense. She might have a luscious bod and be proud to show it, but she's just a computer-generated bullshit, so she doesn't even really exist. She's there to serve the male fantasy. Because, you know, obviously, if a guy's playing a video game, he also wants to simultaneously jack off. Duh. That's what video games are for. It's not just marketing and capitalism and all that kind of stuff, sex sales. No, 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 no. It's misogyny, and that kind of slut is not okay. Let's talk about more good sluts. Good sluts are into weird, kinky sex. They like being beaten up and pissed on and all that kind of shit. If you're a boring vanilla that just wants to have sex with your significant other, lame, that's not very feminist. Explore your sexuality. And when you explore it, you better be weird because if you're normal, I mean, you might as well just transition into a male and vote Republican. Normality, no true person who matters, no true feminist, no true artist is boring and just wants to have penis and vagina missionary sex. You gotta get shit on, man. You gotta be into weird shit, and then talk about it all the time, too. And anytime someone says, oh, wait a minute, I don't really want to hear about how you like having your asshole licked on your memes on your Facebook, tell them that they're kink-shaming you. That's being a good slut. Let the world know about y'all fucking sessions. That's what a good slut would do. Another bad slut would be an actual human being that's in a movie written by a man. Those are bad sluts. Because men write their parts, and those women are complacent in those roles. Now, one might argue they're not actually sluts since they're just playing a role and it's just a job, but that kind of, like, that's logic that I just don't really, like, I, I don't want to wrap my head around that too much because it's there's a lot of thinking, and thinking tends to trigger me, and if I'm triggered, then I go into a room for days, and that's bad. So don't do that, you fucking ableist scum. Good sluts politicize their sex life. Like, if you just want to go out and fuck people at bars and then just go about your daily life, you're a bad slut. Let's, let's not lie here. A good slut will go to a women's march and hold up a sign talking about her being a slut. Don't bring up your vulva, though. 
or your uh, uterus or anything like that, because that's transphobic and that shit isn't welcome here. Vaginas have nothing to do with women. Penises are perfectly female organs, and if you say anything other than that, then you need to go jump into the nearest vault of acid, because, you know, like I said, penis is completely female. Don't want to talk too much about trans issues, though, because, you know, I'm a cis person and I'm not supposed to be doing that. I need to take a step down and allow a trans person to make a video on my channel, because that's how social justice works. But I'm a woman, so I can talk about being a slut. That's fine. I can talk about it. I can educate you guys on this. So what was I saying before I went off on a tangent? Yeah, politicize your sexuality. Display on a sign how many men you fucked. The more men you fucked, the better, actually. Being a slut is empowering to yourself because dicks are kind of like collector's items, you know? Having different dicks in you makes your vagina, like, better because feminism, right? Social justice, something like that. Make sure to whine and complain constantly that when men have promiscuous sex, people tend to not really give a shit. You need to bring that up. It's hypocritical, and the only time people are allowed to be hypocritical is when it benefits the marginalized people, which would include women. Bad sluts look back on their sluttier days in college and feel remorse. Now that they're all married and they're having kids and all that kind of shit, you know, they think back to that college party where they let eight frat dudes run a train on them and they're like, damn, I shouldn't have did that. I could have got a disease. Bad slut. Those guys could have wore condoms. You're fine. Be proud of that. You were empowered by letting those eight men plow you. There's nothing more feminist than being a fucking receptacle for sperm for strangers. Feminist as fuck, right? But the best sluts of all, oh, the best sluts of all, they're the ones that retract their consent afterwards. Enjoy the sex while you have it. But afterwards, especially if it's a white cishet male, take that consent back. Because consent can be retracted at any time. Consent can be retracted before you have sex, during, or after. That's right. So if you think you want to have sex with a guy and you end up not and then later on you're like, I'm glad I didn't have sex with that guy. I mean, that's rape because, you know, like you thought about having sex with him, but later on you thought about it and you're like, that was a bad thought, so therefore he violated you somehow with his magic, like, abs or something. That, that was a rape. So yeah, those are the best sluts, the top tier sluts, the ones that retract their consent. So go crazy. Fuck anyone. Walk around topless with tit glitter. And when men ogle at you, remind them that it's rape culture. You're wearing that uncomfortable, extremely short skirt because you're empowered, not because you want people to find you attractive. Remember that. Cake your face with makeup because this is fun. I really enjoyed putting this expensive, uncomfortable goop all over my face. It's empowering and I'm doing it for myself, not for the people who watch this video. I'm totally going to keep wearing this and not wash it off as soon as I'm done filming this because I'm an empowered woman. So yeah, girls, you do you. But remember, don't be a video game character. Don't be a slut in a movie. Don't regret your promiscuous sexual encounters that you drunkenly did in college. Unless, of course, you want to go back and say it's rape because then that's fine. And yeah, that's pretty much. Those are the don'ts. Do fuck anyone that you want, whenever you want, and if anyone places any form of judgment, call them out on their slut shaming, regardless to how terrible or dangerous or disrespectful the act may be. There is no such thing as a spectrum of morality. It's black or white. It's black or white. That's how feminism works. You know, some people will say, oh, well, it's okay to have a few casual encounters or whatever, but if you have, you know, 90 or so sexual encounters, you should probably go see a therapist or something because you might have some psychological issues. No, fuck that. That's slut shaming. So there's slut shaming and then there's not slut shaming. And the only time it's okay to slut shame is, like I said, video game characters and women in movies and women who regret it. If, if it's not one of those three, you can't do it. No matter what. No matter if it's a girl who has a fetish for fucking married men it's still like only his fault somehow like she's completely absolved of the blame even though she has a specific fetish for like taking men from women i mean like i guess you know both parties are at fault oh shit that kind of made sense 
Um, I'll just cut that out in post. Um, but yeah, like, be a slut. A good slut. Not a bad slut. Yeah. So, this is like a sociology course. I mean, this should, like, probably be played in a classroom. This can be used as material to learn. And you should be able to get, like, a degree in the Meds Peds YouTube channel or something. That'd be great. But, yeah, um, you should obviously subscribe to me and give me money. Like, with a personal check or the Patreon or the Discord or whatever it is. And, um, you know, pull your tits out. Put some glitter on them. Take some slutty selfies. And when that guy tells you that you're just fishing for compliments... Tell him to take his slut-shaming patriarchal bullshit and shove it up his ass. I'm the Meds Peds. Subscribe. I'm out. If only I